Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation Vita and the PSP. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the PSP first because it, I, I thought um, we, well, Iggy decided not to join me for this um, as he didn't feel he knew enough about the PSP and uh, the Vita, so I decided because um, I own both, um, I'd you know do it myself, um, which m makes a lot of sense really. Um, so uh, to kick off with the um, PSP, um, I got my PSP in 2004 or five, I can't remember now. Uh, yeah, it was Christmas 2005. Um, my mum didn't know what to get me that year, and uh, I mean it was I didn't have one. I liked the idea of it, and um, she just, well that's what she decided to get me for that Christmas. Um, at first, I really loved it. Um, I, I was very rarely off. I didn't even play uh, my PlayStation Two because I didn't have a PlayStation. Well, no, PlayStation Three wasn't out at that time, so I really didn't play my PlayStation Two at all um, at that time. Um, uh, the first game I uh, got on it was, well, because I got quite a few games, um, I got Metal Gear Acid, the first one, um, SSX, on tour. Uh, it wasn't as good as the PlayStation 2 one, to be fair, um, but then the console, uh, the handheld port ones sometimes aren't. Um, what else did I get? I'm just trying to think. Oh, Pursuit Force. Um, I think that was it. I think it was it to be honest, um, but no, I really did like the PSP. Um, it has some, you know, nice quality graphics. It was, I think, near PS2. I could be wrong on that. They looked uh, just about PS2, so that was for handheld. That was quite good because um, uh, the DS, I think, was the DS. Yeah, the DS was out at that time, and I mean, it was it was a step up because the graphics on there are more like PlayStation One style graphics. Graphics, so that was a you know a huge step up for a handheld to be like that. Um, the, I think, the, I mean, I was reading the other day that you know it was always complained about that they didn't have um, two analog sticks like the Vita does. Um, but for me, that really wasn't a problem. I never really noticed it at all. But um, no, I, I think it was a you know it was a, it was great for what it did. Um, I love how it connected originally connected with the PlayStation 2 and then PlayStation 3 as well, um, and I you know I love the fact that you can actually download PlayStation 1 games on it, um, and you can with the Vita. Um, but I think really what let it down ultimately was well I say it was a lack of games. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't necessarily a lack of games. There just wasn't a lot of games I liked, and when they were coming out, they were really just most of them were ports of games that you already had. Um, if you look at Tony Hawk Underground 2 Remix, that really was just Tony Hawk Underground 2 with some extra stuff. Um, but I actually enjoyed that on the PSP, so I ain't really good. I'm just using that as an example. But I think, to, I mean, at the start, it had a lot of games coming out for it. Um, but I think, in towards the end, it really just didn't have nothing come out of it, and that's why I stopped playing it and stuck with the DS. Um, because there was more games I enjoyed on the DS, to be fair. Um, so I think that's really. Um, I, I did because um, I had the original model, and I think it was better how they went on uh, later on. Uh, but I think PSP Go, I think it was called. That was a really bad idea. Not having a disc drive, that really for me was a bad idea. Um, I think it, it that killed it off, to be honest. Um, I mean. I get the idea of the digital thing, but it, it at the time really wasn't a good idea, especially because I think the, I'm not sure how big the memory cards were, and I think because the one I had was a 32 megabyte one. Um, but in the end, my sister didn't use her PSP, and she gave me hers because mine uh, had a bit of a mishap. Um, I dropped it. It was I had it in my pocket, and I was walking up the stairs, um, and it rolled out my pocket all the way back down the stairs. Um, it still works, but there's so much damage to it. It's it, the Wi-Fi switches. It, it stopped working on it now, so I can't do anything with that. And um, all the screens sort of cracked open, but it still does work very well. So it was it was well built, you know, to survive that. Um, but no, I've got the white PSP now, and. Uh, I mean, I still use it for a few of my favourite games to play. Um, 
it's really kind of annoying that the Vita is set up in a different way so it's not backwards it is backwards compatible but what I mean is you have to have the digital versions of games um, I think that's really all I have to say on the PSP um, in theory it, it, it was a good good at, at its time but I think you know it just sort of slowly declined um, and UMDs that's something that I forgot to touch on that for me was a really good idea um, I think it was the price though people weren't willing to pay which I can kind of understand in some ways because if I think it was the same price as a normal film and with a film you, you know with the you if you just buy the UMD you can only use it in on the PSP whereas the, you know the DVD you can use anywhere like on well on the PlayStation on the DVD player whatever on the did the first Xbox have no, because the 360 was out when I think when the PSP came out. Well, the original Xbox and the 360 had DVD anyway, so I mean, think you know, there's many devices you can use a DVD on, um, and obviously with the UMD you can only use it on a PSP. I did like the discs, though. I do have to admit they were quite. I liked how they were in cases. Um, so really, it was just a plastic getting scratched. Not. I mean, there was a little hole for the disc, but um, I mean that could get scratched. But I just liked how they did that. I thought it was quite nice. Um, but I think that's really all I have to say about the thing. Um, my favourite games are Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. I love playing that in summer 2007. That really was a fantastic game. Um, it followed, I think it followed just after Snake Eater. And I just loved how you could recruit team members and stuff like that. I just I just loved the whole thing of it. And um, Peace Walker, because uh, I haven't got the, never had the PSP version. I've got the version that come with the HD collection. Well, that's a fantastic game as well. Um, my other favourite game would probably be Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I'm a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts. Um, and it, when I seen that come out, I was like, finally, there's a, you know, a game I can play for the PSP again. So it, it was great to see that again. Um, I think that was a really good game, actually, because I liked how you could have three different characters and all the stories inter interlinked. And I think there was a final story at the end. So I really liked that idea concept of it I think it's it was really the combat on it was really good as well but I think the big, a lot of problem I think people said that the, a lot of the problem was with the worlds just didn't feel that big as they did in the console games but yeah, it didn't really bother me that much to be honest um, but you know it was it was a fantastic game for me anyway uh, it was a shame that you know if you haven't got a PSP you never got to play it um, my other favorite game is I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. I do apologise if I'm not. Um, I think it's called Dissidia Final Fantasy. Actually, I think I have it in my drawer. Yeah, that's what. Well, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's it's sort of like a fighting game with like, all the Final Fantasy characters from Final Fantasy One to Final Fantasy Ten, I think. Which I didn't get because Final Fantasy XII was out at the time, so why they didn't include um, the characters, some characters from XII, I really don't know. But they did in the second game, um, which was Dissidia XII, I think it was called. It might have been had Final Fantasy in the title as well. I have the digital version of it because uh, there was a Final Fantasy set a couple of months back. Um, well, no, last month I think it was. Uh, they, it was 50% off all the games, and I liked the first one, so I thought, well, I'll have a try on it. I think it was only like seven quid. And I thought, well, I'll have a try on that because um, I was playing my Vita at the time, and I put it on my Vita, and really, having been, well, I was really enjoying it. So it's a really good game, um, but I think I like what they've done with the second one more than the first one. I like the range of characters that's in the second one as well. Um, but they're both fantastic games. Um, I think that's really all. Say, are my favourite games. Um, I mean, if we're talking fondest memories about the whole thing, it'd probably be the Christmas I got it, just playing it non-stop. Uh, playing Metal Gear Acid was, you know, really good. I really enjoyed playing that game. Um, and I remember watching the UMDs on it, I really loved them at first, but as I said, they, they were really quite expensive. Um, I'm, I'm not really going to get into favourite characters, really, because it's going to be a lot of the same from the other videos we've done, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to move on to the Vita now. Um, the Vita um, has originally just been released. Well, it was released last year. Um, ju well, it was just at its one year birthday a couple of weeks. But I think it was last week because there was a sale. 
or it might have been the week before. It was, it was a few, I think it was quite a few weeks back now. Um, at first, I thought, well, I was a bit un a bit dubious because of how PSP went for me because there wasn't a lot of games I enjoyed on it. Um, so I, I wasn't really that excited for it at first. Um, and then when it sort of released everybody, you know, it did have a really good. Um, I remember reading that it had quite a good launch, a good launch uh, title range. Um, I think that's the term. And I, I kind of sort of grew to it a bit and thought, well, maybe when there's more games I like for it, I'll get one. Um, and uh, I, I didn't really want one for a really long time. I just I like from hearing what I heard about it, it sounded really good. Um, and it was eventually at Christmas, uh, my mum surprised me with this Christmas gone, uh, my mum surprised me with one and uh, it is a really fantastic bit of kit, it really is a good handheld. Uh, the graphics on it are really really good, I don't think it's HD though, I could be wrong on that. Um, it looks it, it really does look it, so I'm not entirely sure on that, but um, I just, I do, I really do like it, I, I like everything about it. Um, I love how the menus are set up, really easy to use. The touch screen is really quite responsive on it, but I think you come to expect that when you're using something like that. I, I do like how they've got the touch screen integrated with the thing. Because I remember when I seen it, uh, I think it was not, I'm trying to think which E3 it was. It might have been 2010. Because um, I remember saying to Iggy, I said, that's a bloody iPod. Um, well, an iPad. Or was the iPad out then, actually? Because um, I use my iPod for games as well, so that's why I refer to it as an iPod. But I think it's much more than an iPod, to be honest. Um, I think I, I like how this, well, this generation of handheld, you've you've got two diverse things. You, you've got you know touchscreen features. I mean, the DS does it, but you have to use a stylus. But I love well, I love how the 3DS has got 3D, um, and the Vita doesn't. I mean, it'd be nice to see on there. Don't get me wrong, but. I just love how they both got unique selling points. Um, that's why I'm glad I've got both. So I really do enjoy using my 3DS um, and my Vita. Um, but the only real big downside of the Vita is obviously at the moment the lack of games. Um, I know we got some, uh, you know, good, some big titles coming. I think. Uh, well, Chaos on Mercenary. I don't know if that is going to be a big title. I'm not somebody. I, I mean, a lot. I've got some Killzone games. I've played. Uh, I've got all three Killzones. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do enjoy the series, so I wouldn't go mad for it, is what I'm saying. Um, so, um, that, that could be a big title, um, but other than that, it's, it's really hard to say, I can't think of anything. There's that, is it Tearaway um, game? I think it's made by the same people who make Little Big Planet. Um, you, you can like use the back of the touchscreen at the back to um, make the paper like move and stuff. And like put your finger through the paper, it looks does look a really good title actually. It really does. I think another great thing about the Vita is the cross buy thing. I think that is a really good good thingy. Um, because I got well, I wasn't really going to buy PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale for a bit. I, I mean, I, I, I it looked fun, but when playing the beta, I, I really didn't like the concept of it after that. But seeing that you could get two games for one, and um, my my sister was thinking of getting it anyway I think at the time and um, you know I thought well if you're going to get a Vita version with it as well I might as well go for it I haven't actually got round to playing it because that's my next grievance uh, with the thing um, the memory cards because um, the four I think it's four gigabytes because um, I got a free copy of Little Big Planet Vita I think it's called um, I think that's the correct name um, the problem is where I've got other stuff on my memory card um, it takes up so much memory to download it. I mean, there's enough to download it, but where I've got so many games on there, um, I hate how it, when you're playing a game and if you run out of memory, it won't let you continue without saving. That, that really, It just comes up with a black screen saying you cannot progress or something. I can't remember the exact term. It's only happened a few times. So in the end, I had to delete Little Big Planet Vita off there. Um, the memory cards are so expensive, it's... It is for me like the PlayStation 2 all over again, um, because I at the time I was at school and unable to afford a memory card, so I had to wait a really long time to get one. Um, so, I, so I think really when they do give you a memory card, I, I think they should have gave you the eight gigabyte one, considering you've got a digital game. But you know that that's that's just my opinion. Um, 
But I think they do need to lower the prices. I mean, I know there was recent talk of, uh, I think it was this week, of a cut in a price cut in Japan and um, the rest of Asia. I could be wrong. Um, but I think it was around that that area. Um, but they said that they had no, I don't think it was, there was no plans at the moment to bring that over here or America, which I, I think it would benefit from it. I really do. But maybe if the titles roll in that, you know, we'll get, you, they'll get a better sales um, thing on it. But no, other than that, I think it's a really nice bit of kit. Um, I like how it, it does sort of link up to the PlayStation. Like I say it links up, it's, but like you, you put your account on there and you can get your messages from your PlayStation and stuff like that. But I don't like how it doesn't actually, like when I first signed, linked my account on it, I didn't realise that, I thought it would say your name and everything on there. And I was a bit worried, like, because I wasn't sure if my account had linked. But yeah, it has, so that, that was something. I mean, it's not a big issue, it's just a really tiny, tiny small issue. But I think other than that, it is a really nice, nice handheld. Um... I mean, it, you do benefit from the two analog sticks again. Um, the only thing I didn't like is with the where you can um, add PlayStation One games to it, like download uh, have PlayStation One games on there. I was playing Final Fantasy VIII, and um, if you've played Final Fantasy VIII, there's a certain boss in the early part of the game. It's in the demo as well. Um, you have to run from because he keeps repairing himself at the start. Um, you can eventually defeat it, but for the first initial part, you have to run. And I couldn't figure out how to run um, because there's no L, L2 and R2 buttons. Um, it turns out you've just got to press on the back of the touch screen. Um, but it's really annoying because you have to find the exact point. I really don't like that about it. But, you know, I'm not, it's not a bad thing. It's just a little bit annoying, really. I think you can remap the controls anyway, but it is a little bit annoying, really. Just, you know, a tad bit annoying that... Um, I had to look on the internet to find that out, really. Um, but I think, other than that, I mean, I, the camera isn't the greatest camera, quality-wise, but it doesn't really bother me because I don't really use the camera that much on it. I mean, it's handy um, for games where you can face map yourself, like, um, is it Reality Fighters? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a handy feature for that, but as I say, it's not the bestest camera in the world, but... It's not a bad camera, so I'm not really, I'm not too fussed about that. I mean, there's some people that aren't going to be happy with it, and there's some that's not that worried. Uh, it, it all really is on individual opinion. And um, I think that's really all I've got to say on the Vita. Um, my favourite games, um, I've got to say, I'm, I'm quite enjoying Gravity Rush. Um, I'm sort of playing it on and off. But that's a really, actually, it's, it's a very, I suppose in some ways it is original concept. Um, it does seem a bit short though, I seem to be really, when I play it I seem to get through a lot of missions quite quickly so I don't know, I haven't actually fully played it all but it seems a very, it's going to be a short game um, but I, hopefully I'm wrong on that um, I mean, you know, other than that I really do think it's a really good game the combat system on it is really quite good and I like open world type things like that so it is a really good game um, Uncharted Golden Abyss, that's, that's quite a good game on there um, it's very similar to the Uncharted's on the PlayStation, so I mean, you know, it's not going to be. If it was like the first time it'd been there, I think I'd really enjoy it. But I mean, I do enjoy it. It's a good, really good game. I like how you can use the touchscreen controls and that. I mean, the aiming at first for me was a bit hard to get hold of, but no, once I got used to it, it's a really, really enjoyable game. If you like Uncharted, you'll definitely love that. Um, I think other games, Reality Fighters, I really do enjoy actually. I think that's a really good game. Uh, it's not the best fighting game out there, but it is good fun. It's, I like how like it's got these um, arenas that move with you. Like so if you turn move your Vita, it moves with you. That can be a little bit annoying sometimes though, because you have to keep moving the Vita because it goes a little bit off. But other than that, it is a really fantastic game, and you can make you make you know face map things on there. So that's you know good fun. Um, the only other game, I mean, it's only because I really enjoyed it on the PlayStation 3. Um, and I, like, I do like the Vita version, but it's not as good as the PlayStation 3 version. Is uh, Little Big Planet. No, not Little Big Planet. Um, Mod Nation Racial, sorry. I always get those two confused. I really do enjoy, I enjoyed that on the PlayStation 3, so I really like it on the Vita. But um, the fact that it doesn't have, uh, I think it, they took out proper, like, 
I think it's only local multiplayer on it. And the minute they took that, it was a really big, bad move, I think. But I still enjoy it for what it is. I haven't fully got around to playing it um, entirely. Um, but yeah, that's another good title. Um, what else? Just try and look for my Vita collection, actually. Um, the first FIFA, uh, it's just called FIFA Football. I actually quite like that. Um, I haven't bought a football game in ages. And I seen it really cheap in Tesco the other day. and then, Well, a couple of weeks back now in... January, I think. I thought, well, I'm not sure. It's you know, because I knew FIFA 13 was out, and I thought, well, I have a take a chance on it because it was, I think it's like a fiver. And I thought, well, that's not too bad. Um, and I really like how you can use the touch screen to aim where you're going to shoot, because that's something I always had a problem with on the controls, because I always get carried away running, and I keep forgetting to tap the circle button. I think it is to shoot. Um, so that's a really good thing for it. So I think that's a really good football game on the Vita. Um, I think other than that, that's really it. I mean, really favourite characters on the beta. There isn't really a lot of characters that haven't been on uh, other PlayStation games. The only character I can think of is um, Cat from Gravity Rush, really. She's um, the only character that's... Because she's only on the beta at the moment. So I think she's a, an interesting character. But as I said, I haven't played the game enough uh, to really know enough about her to say if she, how good a character she is. So... That's the only character I can think that's sort of unique on there, really. Um, so that's really all I have to say about the Vita. I mean, I say my fondest memory is playing it on Christmas Eve. Um, playing Final Fantasy VIII again, really. I know that sounds stupid because I can play it on the PlayStation 3 and the PSP and that. But, it, it, you know, I, I do, as I said in the PlayStation 1 video, I really do love Final Fantasy VIII. And the reason I went with Final Fantasy VII is I just felt... It was a better experience overall, but I, I, I would say I really do have a lot of you know appreciation for Final Fantasy VIII. So I mean that was really good playing that. But I think the first time I played Uncharted, that was really good as well. Um, that was on New Year's Eve. I got around to fully playing that, considering I got it for Christmas. Um, but no, I think that's really all I've got to say on it. Um, I would just like to thank everybody for watching these videos um, and taking the time out of you, you know, to watch them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what we've had to say.